Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today I want to look at another application of the payment present value formulas for a decreasing annuity that we looked at last time. The problem is that a person can afford car payments of $200 a month, and we know the bank charges 8% a year compound monthly for a car loan, and the requirement is that the loan should be paid off in four years. So the problem is, how much can this person borrow? All right, so the formulas that we looked at before, this time we're interested in the initial value, the present value, because we know what the payments are going to be, or what we would like to pay. All right, so how do we implement something like this? Well, we can go to the applications. We're going to use the TVM solver again. Let me highlight this. And now we have to fill in just the appropriate values. Well, let's see. We have four years. So 4 times 12, that's 48. So 48 will be the uh, number of payments the term. The interest rate is 8%. The present value is what we're looking for, but our payments... We want to pay out uh, uh, $200 a month. Now, I should enter this as a negative number. We're going to pay it out. The future value should be zero. We're paying off the loan. And the payments per year and the compounding periods, well, we're doing all these things monthly. So we'll set both of these to 12. Now, let's go back, and we can uh, send solve for what the initial amount of the loan should be. So we do that by the alpha and inner, and we see that we can borrow uh, $8,192. Well, that's not very much. Maybe we could go back and say, well, let's see what would happen if we could change our payments to uh, 200 and say $50 a month. Let's see what we could borrow in that case, 250. And now we can go and we can solve this like we did before, and we see now that we can borrow uh, $10,000, $10,240. Uh, uh, well, that's the way you can uh, solve for the present values. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope to see you later for another podcast.